I don't know if you can really see from here. This is my new Cubex printer. Uh, we're, we're having some problems with it, but 3D Systems is working with me to get it working. This is a test part that they sent me because I've been unable to get my parts to work even with uh, their design software, which I really do like. Um, but this Cubex has been kind of a hassle so far. Um, I have a bad spool. Um, this spool does not read and so the computer does not detect it and so it won't use it and that's my biggest complaint with the 3D system printers. I have more than one. Um, if, you know, with, a, with an open source my rep wraps, I can just change a spool out, I can switch filament, I, it, it doesn't care these care and if you don't have the right filament and the right setup you're gonna have some problems um, I really wish they would have gone without this um, personally but uh, I guess they've got to make their money however they make it so you can still see it's kind of printing uh, this test part and it's not doing too bad this is PLA and I'm not a big fan of PLA but uh, it does print nicely the one thing I will say is their plastic is first rate. There is no, no cheap, you know, bubbles. Nothing that is substandard. It's it's good stuff. I don't think my table is holding up to the, to the job. I might have to build a more rigid table. I've got my rep wraps on a homemade table, and they're a lot more stable. So, the cube, um, I've had some problems with it reading. It was kind of a bugger to update the firmware. Um, and my glass plate was broken not by 3D Systems, uh, by UPS, and uh, we're just getting going here, so we'll see what happens, and uh, I'll have more videos for you in the future. Thanks. Bye.